Hello people and welcome back to another Chino Juan Moreno behind the scenes stop motion video. Um, this video is going to be just talking about the next project in the Chino verse. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go and rewatch the season one, all of the episodes one through four. Uh, go and watch season two, episodes five to eight and go watch the special season videos. So you kind of know where the Chinoverse is going. This is a multiverse um, um, superhero crossover where I'm uh, doing animation with the best of the best in the action figure world and the best of the heroes. So of course, uh, before you go and rant in the comments, <laughs> this is the Chinoverse. So this is my own fan theory kind of so in this Chinaverse, I try to get the best figures possible that I can get, the best superheroes, the most popular ones, and I try to mix them all together in the same place, in the same universe. So some of you get peace when I killed Goku, spoiler alert for season one, Infinity Balls, which is the Infinity Stones combined with the Dragon Balls and let's see what happened when everybody, good and bad guys, try to fight for those. So with that uh, being the plot, this episode is going to be very special. This is episode 9 of the series and this is going to be the first episode on season 3. There's a special episode of Batman that is going to be directly connected to this one. I don't want to spoil the plot, which is very straightforward. There's no big science over there. It's actually... Uh, my own fan theory and I think it's super easy for you guys to come up with a similar story if you are a fan of a lot of superhero content, you know, either in the comics, in the movies, in the TV series and stuff like that. So uh, if you haven't watched it, go right now and watch the figure review of this dude and check out the Chino review system. I know this is not a review channel, but if you like that one, let me know in the comments and I will like to review some of the best figures I have. In the long term, that is going to be super cool because we will get to compare with numbers uh, the best figures out there, or at least the ones I can get on my hands. For these kind of videos, I need to invest a lot of money, a lot of time. But if you want to support the channel, not just watching, liking and sharing, but if you become a patron, that will be super nice. Uh, because for this kind of video, I just wanted to get the Wonder Woman figure, but it is kind of expensive, so I'm going to pass on that one, and maybe I will add her in the next episodes of the Shinoverse. If you want to donate a figure, like the Wonder Woman, if you have a spare one, I will be super happy. And if you don't, that's okay, I can, I can get my own figures. So it doesn't matter. What's the deal with this episode? There's a little bit of a story over here that connects with the Chinoverse. And I have contacted some people that is going to be doing the voices for some of the actors. A mashup team of the Justice League. Um, and we have the main members of the Justice League, or at least the ones that I got so far. We have the McFarlane um, Toys Aquaman. He looks amazing. I did a custom um, paint job on this dude and it really popped up. I hope they continue with the Snyder Burst because that's a super freaking cool Justice League. So my dude, Jason Momoa there, I'm, I'm sure. If you have this figure, he's super cool with a fork. <laughs> I did a custom over there. I cut this part because it was super uh, thick. So I did an, an customization over there, but now it feels clumsy. Uh, just go to my, to my always reliable clay in order to lock the position. So I always try for you guys not to watch that on camera, but that's an easy fix, you know? He's going to stand a chance versus the Homelander, we don't know. Uh, this is a Mafex bootleg, so don't hit me on that one. But I think for a bootleg, the quality is impressive, bro. So I was expecting uh, not so much from this dude and I'm super happy that I got it. For the casting of this character, I was hesitating between having him or having 
another fast guy. Quicksilver, it's a Marvel Legends, but I think in terms of articulation, I can get better results with this guy and smoothness in the animation because of the joints. You know, Marvel Legends have this thing where they kind of lock, like uh, for example, in the torso, they lock in three positions. So that for stop motion is not so smooth. I film in 30 frames per second. So I try to give you guys the smoothest animation that I can get. So the Marvel Legends in a way hurts on that department. So we have the Batman. This is an SH figures with the custom cape. Uh, you've seen this guy in, uh, in the Batman episode. If you haven't watched it, go right now and watch it. That's a super cool episode. Batman is the first guy to get the Dragon Ball and that is going to be connected to this episode. Instead of Wonder Woman, uh, I think we have a, a cool uh, candidate to kind of replace her because it's a warrior it's a it's a mythic guy uh, it's a fan favorite from the 80s people hated his new series and i just watched it and i think it was way better than the original i don't know why they hate i didn't mind about tila she was okay but hey we have Heman over here and he's going to be the muscle of the team Janos, as you know, this uh, Chinoverse started uh, as a One Punch Man versus Dragon Ball series. And Janos was in the very first episode fighting Vegeta. So Piccolo over here, it's uh, because he's replacing the Martian Man. He's green, he's an alien. So that's a check for me. So he's going to be here. I did a custom cape with this dude and that's wired but I have this double cloth because I didn't want to you guys to see the stitching on the wire. So this looks uh, okay in the screen, but I think I could use a better cape. And how it is attached to the figure, if, in case you're wondering, uh, this is a very easy custom to make. Um, and in the cape, I just leave a hole over there. This is a square. And if you put it that way, and you just leave one wire over there. Um, that's how it fits, you know? Why do we have this team over here? We are going to be making the uh, the Oni Man fight versus the Guardians of the Glove. And he's going to be fighting the other dudes, all right? You know, the boys, the Justice League, this team have very similarities. So in a way, this guy is, of course, the inspiration from A-Train and the other fast guy from the Guardians of the Glove, Red Rush. And then the Batman, it's as well a representation of the Neuer and the other dude, which I forget the name, but Nightwing. And then we have Aquaman being kind of the deep, you know, Aquarius in Invincible. And then we have Martian Man. Um, and the other green dude, I don't know the name, but we have Piccolo. So we have uh, Diana or um, Wonder Woman represented here by He-Man, but uh, in Invincible, she was War Woman. So, and we had a robot over there, which is not fighting Oni Man, but I think this Janos guy could be in a way representing uh, the cyborg or the Iron Man version of the Justice League, you know? So um, let me know what you guys think about this. Some of you guys always ask questions about the set. This is uh, just any regular foam. It is painted in black and then washed with a gray and a white to give it a little bit more of that deepness. Inner uh, pillar, is it's a cardboard pillar and then I add uh, some more foam over here with any glue and then there you go naked cardboard the, the inner part and that's just pasted over there and painted that's it that easy so for this set and this animation i'm using this as a temple where the heroes get reunited and because i have the black background i can uh, treat you guys to think that this is an infinite set and the thing that it is so repetitive uh, it will be super easy to ubicate uh, or locate the camera if i'm doing an angle like this and then i have to 
take another shot from Batman and it, it, it is a close-up. Uh, I think that is going to save me a lot of time because normally, whenever that happens, uh, let me just explain. Whenever we have two characters uh, in a fight or, or whatever, um, let's say they are like that, you know? So if I need a Batman shot, I need to do this and so I can have those pillars over there. Uh, but then if we need the Homelander, you will see the other part of the room and I'm, my set is done. So in this way, I can use the same figure for the same background. I can shot like this and then like this. Maybe I can uh, move the camera a little bit and that will do the trick, you know, because it is the same from every single point of view. So that's going to save me a lot of time. For other sets like CDs and stuff like that, uh, you can recognize a specific building, so you have to kind of respect the space and, 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 and build upon that. That is not going to be the case on this one, and that is going to make my life way more easy. So, um, I want to pull something very cool in this video, which is going to be the, uh, <laughs> the inner parts of the people. Uh, the cheapest clay that you can get in Mexico. Um, so that is red and pink and I want to do some mixes with some uh, red slime, super sticky and I just hate it. I, I, I cannot do it with this and the figures and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to try to go practical because of the looks of the slime, but check it out. Now it's all over my fingers and I just hate it and I don't want that to be into my figures, especially in the capes, you know? so. If you guys know a decent uh, recipe to make your own home slime that is not as gross as this one, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm going to do some tests with these ones anyway, but yeah, that's going to look cool. There's going to be a lot of blood, practical effects and VFX because I can really uh, push myself to the limits uh, in terms of the fight choreography, you know? Every single character that is going to be in this video has a special skill and one fighting style, you know? The, I think um, the only one that we haven't seen on his prime on screen at least, and don't let me know anything of the comments. I don't want to know any spoilers, all right? So don't come with me and tell me in the comments uh, that in the comics, Homelander does this and that or stuff like that. So in this universe, the Homelander, it's of course a ripoff of Superman. So I like to think of Homelander as powerful as Superman. Maybe not as powerful, but very close. So some of you follow on TikTok and <laughs> some of you guys told me that it will only take one Piccolo to defeat Homelander. And, and now that I think about it, uh, yeah, Piccolo is probably overpowered, you know, and probably he could get Homelander to to um, to have a hard time, especially if you've seen season three, you can uh, get to see where Homelander is in terms of power level. So disclaimer again, this is the Chinoverse. In this Chinoverse, I will probably have to make Homelander more powerful than his canonic version. Probably he might will be enough to, to kill him. Probably Piccolo, probably Aquaman or Flash or or that dude, uh, Genos, you know? But in this universe, all combined are not enough to stop the homie boy, the Homelander, all right? So that's a disclaimer. Trust me, I'm building season three of the Chinoverse. It's going to be epic as hell. Homelander versus the Justice League. How would you name this team? All right. Uh, Homelander is more powerful than all of them combined. Bear with me. Trust me, that's going to be uh, getting season three to a, to a very special place. Season three is going to have Superman back and Goku fighting at each other. I'm going to tell you guys how Superman died and I'm going to make that episode. And that is going to build, of course, to the to the main uh, storyline that we have 
in which uh, Trunks traveled back in time and told all of the superheroes that they need to hurry before Thanos gets here with his friends, okay? Let me know in the comments what would you like me to cover for this kind of behind the scenes special. I don't have yet that many content to show you, so just me talking about uh, the figures and what's going to happen, but the next behind the scenes video that you will see, uh, I will probably have some material to show you about the fights, about who who's dead already and stuff like that. And the special voices that are going to be part of the talent giving life to these characters. For all of you guys that have ever uh, lend me your voice for any project, I'm super, super thankful, especially to you, my man, Henrik. I love you, bro. Uh, so everybody, I, I don't want to tell names because I'm sure I'm going to forget, but well, thank you guys. I hope you guys are hyped about this video. Let me know in the comments who should win, who is more powerful in this universe. Homelander is number one class S hero from the Saitama and One Punch Man rating system. Let me know in the comments, where would you rank any of these superheroes? Like for example, uh, maybe Batman is a class A hero or a class B because he has no powers, you know? He will probably be super popular or hated by, by the people, you know? Uh, and if you guys know One Punch, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So let me know in the comments, give a like, give a share, give a subscription. And thank you so much for watching. I am Chino Moreno, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel with your like, comment, subscription, and notification bell. That helps the channel a big deal. And if you are in a position to support a little bit more, consider me doing a video. Thanks again for watching. I am Chino Moreno, and I will see you. Yeah.